Hey everyone, in this week's tutorial I'll be showing everyone how to speed up your render times in uh, Cinema 4D. I'll be showing you my uh, render settings. Um, it improved my render times before, so um, yeah, this, uh, this setting works best for me. Um, so I'll be showing you, showing everyone this, my render settings. So let's go ahead and go to Render tab, and we'll go to Render Settings. And um, output. I usually have my uh, my resolution 1920 by 1080, since that's my whole screen, my whole monitor resolution screen re resolution. But you can also you can always uh, put it to set it up as a 1280 by 720. That's uh, HD. Um, and yeah, so. I usually say if I usually have my uh, projects as a uh, animation, not like a picture or anything. So I always always save it as a quick time movie. And uh, this is just what I was working on. And uh, yeah. so if you save it as a you know PNG, whatever, it's gonna turn out to be a picture. Whole bunch of pictures if uh, you chose it to be a whole bunch of frames or whatever. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Or, oh, make sure it's alpha channel is checked and straight alpha is checked if you want it to have a transparent background, just in case if you want to like export it to After Effects, Sony Vegas, or whatever, um, it'll come out to be a transparent background. So, what is next? So, I'm gonna go ahead and go to this. Um, go to anti-aliasing and uh, mine set up as a uh, geometry. And uh, go to options and we're gonna change the ray depth to uh, six. And we're gonna change the red uh, shadow depth to six also. Go to effect, go to ambient occlusion, and then we are going to change the minimum ray length to, uh, what was it? No, never mind, it's not the ray length, I meant uh, minimum samples to 8. And then the maximum samples to 50. On the Y, I was thinking minimum ray length. It was actually minimum samples and maximum samples. So those are my settings for uh, ambient occlusion. That helps out for uh, speeding up your render set, your render times. And we are going to effect, and then uh, we're going to go to global illumination. Now we go to the irradiance cache, and we're going to change the stochastic samples to low. You could always uh, lower the uh, lower it also more, but I'm going to just change it to the low settings. And also the rec record density should be low also. Um, what else? That is pretty much it. Um, that is my render settings. That helps out a lot for me um, rendering. So uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoy the my render settings and uh, have fun rendering with uh, some fast times. And I'll see everyone next week with another tutorial. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and most importantly, subscribe. Hey guys, if you like the wonderful music playing in the background by Robot Science, go ahead and hit up my description box for the link.